We are back on the Fighter Select screen. The last video was Mark via Casey. That was the last time we did a live com. Next on the list is one Nathan Diaz. This one's gonna be interesting. Nate Diaz versus Edson Barboza. Uh, I'm down. I'm getting to the point where I'm starting to hit some of those like more widely played fighters. Nate Diaz. I think Evan Dunham might be next in line after Nate Diaz. So coming up next, it's a lightweight bout um, between Edson Barboza. This one's gonna be interesting because Edson Barboza. So you know to expect leg kicks. You know to expect head kicks. You know to expect a lot of body work. Most Edson Barboza players are fairly. Um, Fairly kick focused. I mean, they should be because his stats do kind of lead to that, but it's not all he is. He comes right out the gate with a spinning heel kick. Not sure what he thought was going to happen there. That one hit for some reason, but I, de I definitely ducked, but that one hit. He's running it with the ones and twos, but I'm keeping it keeping it basic. Keeping it, keeping it chill. I'm going to let Nate, I'm going to let, uh, let Edson do some damage to himself first. Oh, blocks the shot. I'm gonna let him do a little damage to himself and we'll touch to with that authoritative head. jab. Top, top, top. Well, playing with fire here, Joe. He continues no, to no be sun. No to sun. Jab, 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 body straight. Feet and ultimately get that head off of the He's center pumping line. it. He's pumping it. Body straight after the jab. Jab, Another touch, body straight. Upstairs. I'm just going to work on him, well, work on him a little on bit. Attack, but a nice leg I mean, I could just blow his doors off with straight punches, well, he but continues to find his time it's not, it's not what I want to do. Maybe he has have a good one-two in this game. He has a really good, really good snappy oh, one-two. We'll Especially off that lazy jab oh, when he drops right. the shoulder. Yeah, he's putting pressure. Nice head kick. I don't know how that kick hit. I definitely ducked, but vicious, uh, vicious punch combinations here. I really try to I try to make people miss as much as possible because they use a lot more stamina when they miss. It takes a lot more off of them. So uh, you know, no worries here. The right hand. Cancel that one. That was nice. He thought about it, changed his mind. He was like, "That's a uh, I'm gonna miss, so I'm gonna do it." Straight body jab, body hook, working on him now. Jab straight body hook, working on him. Body hook. Ooh, he stopped me. Stopped me from going low. He's got my block. He's got my block low. Lunges forward with a, that's why it's a good thing to keep this up. You know, keep the hood up. It helps. It helps a lot uh, in terms of knowing where you are block wise. Because once somebody starts running on you with just the same old stuff over and over, at least you know where you are. He's uh, his body's not doing so great. And a miss with the right hook. He's got no stamina. He's basically walking like a walking zombie at this point. Keeping busy now, connecting with those punches. He's skating around though. He's staying, Rips staying the moving. And that's keeping him around. Oh, touching him with the body hooks. Nathan Diaz, get up, man. Bro, oh, work your legs out. Up to his feet. Back to running. Went for the head kick. Oh man, I thought I ducked. And able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Diaz. <laughs> He uses juice and then jab, Again, jab, off of that jab. Uh, just, just, so just really off. So he's really to put together some significant body shots here. These nice liver uh -huh. shots. Uh -huh. Oh, you saw his ankle? Get up, G. Or lay there. Two choices. So under 30 seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining cool and this. active first round. I'll get 15 seconds of kicking your legs in. Final I am perfectly fine with one. this. Oh, he went for a spin kick. I reached under and punched him in his gooch. Punched him right in the gooch burger. He's going into that next round thinking about his thinking about his scrote because I hit him right in the scrote. It's all good, Nathan Diaz. I'm not doing uh, not the conventional Nathan, man. I'm more of a a, a strategic Nathan. Leading with the jab, off off the straight. He's gonna he's he's pretty much gonna walk back for the rest of the fight. I know the I know they expect this out of people who use a lot of their stamina. Is once they've used a lot of their stamina, the one thing that you can count on is that they're gonna walk the rest of the fight. They're not gonna not gonna shoot for a takedown. They're not gonna clinch. They're not gonna do anything that you know logically 
keeps him in the He's fight. Oh, man, I didn't shoot for a takedown. I'm going to go for a straight punch to the body. Another shot to the body. He's I think I've actually changed stances, didn't I? And now starting to snap oh, nice. Back back. If you have nothing on it, though, man. Straight punch to the body. Stop and dry. Fantastic fight. Done deal. Beautiful knockout blow to finish the fight here. Deal. Yeah, Joe, just an yeah. absolutely gorgeous shot. Yeah, yeah, man. Like, it, 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 it comes with the territory. You know, once somebody's juice is gone, once they run out of stamina, you can almost bet that they're only going to walk away the rest of the the remainder of the fight, they're not gonna look to tie you up and and, uh, and and put you in a make the fight different. They're not gonna change the complexity of the fight. They're just kind of kind of gonna walk away and walk away and hope that you can't pursue and hope that you can't cut off the octagon and land shots on them or just land shots while you're moving. So it becomes pretty much just a chase from that point on. And you know I don't mind the chase in this one because you can kind of. You, you got enough. You have enough tools in your wheelhouse to kind of pursue. So, makes it a little bit easier to chase. I'm gonna be right back with you. I'm gonna be right back. All right, we're back. It's a Diaz versus Diaz mirror match this time. Very interesting. I've only, I think I've only done one mirror match before this one, and it was a Connor versus Connor mirror match. So, no harm, no foul, man. Cause uh. It's not something I see very often, actually. I guess because it's a player match and they can see when you pick, so they're kind of like it's more inclined that people will counter pick as opposed to uh, just picking whoever they want to play as. They'll try to counter pick off of who they think is a better matchup for those fighters. So it's all good. This Nate Diaz has got the Edson Barboza game plan. So, you know, low kicks, body kicks. He's looking to. He's looking to kick his way into, into this fight. Right yep, head kick. Yeah, he's looking to kick his way into this fight. Well, that kick kick. I should have saw it coming. It kind of looked like a leg kick, though. I didn't know. I mean, either way, I did the wrong thing because I tried to duck it. So, uh, either way, either way, I, I chose the wrong defensive selection. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. This Nate Diaz is mixing it up, man. Mixing it up. What? Why does that happen so often? So often I go to block a kick Back to the and I press hand, block and I'll shoot for a takedown. Nice punch there by Diaz. And I'm not touching my right stick because uh, I mean, I might have like touched the right stick oh, before I press block. Just misses. That could have been lights out. Diaz. Oh, Chop him up real quick. He's got him right here. Oh, he got Ooh. Oh. And then he just got wild once he got hurt. Back to the feet. I tried to hit him with a question mark kick. It's all good. Let's see, let's see. Just Boom. With that huge as soon as he stopped moving, hit him with a straight punch. Oh, Stock and slap. Right. Slap him a little bit. Where I'm from, you slap people like that. Well, he's always on the counter attack, but a nice Man, leg he was kick there run by Diaz. Oh, round the nose. I booped him a little bit. Oh, boop, boop. Tagged him. He's going for the kick again. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Jab, jab. He's Just leading him with the jab now. He's changing the tempo. We go here. Kick. Oh. Punch. Oh. Do, 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 this do. could be it right here. All right, cool. Hey, kick. He's in trouble. He's in trouble. Caught him with the uppercut. I'm catching him at the end of the straight. Oh, I missed. This is a huge Ooh, man, he came charging for me. Powerful left hand. Real quick. Diaz Real quick there. Now, jab, jab. Started Cut that out. Jab, jab. Jab, stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Jab starting to get established. <laughs> stop that. Stay back. Stay away there, cuz. Jab straight rocking. Bow, bow. Bow, bow, black sheep on that body. All over his gut. Still with the head kick, though. That's crazy. you think his game plan would have changed a little bit by now. Still with the still with the cheese and with the leg kicks, head kicks. Uh, I don't really, uh, I'm not really affected by that. Jab. Oof. I'm not even sure what hit him. I know I threw it straight, but I don't think I saw it. Oof. Yikes! Caught him at the end of his head movement. Back to his feet again. Amazing. Yeah, hook straight. Ten seconds to go here. Let's see what happens. Yeah, straight. It's hurt again. Oh. Oh, finishing with the jab. Two seconds. <laughs> I just wanted to get him out in the first round because I was already like awesome. I played around for the better part of that first round, so I just wanted to go ahead and close the show. Wow, so Hit him with a jab, rear hook, jab. There it is. Rear the hook touched round. him. Jab to finish. With that huge shot goes nice. Down, and the referee wisely Clump, jumps collapsed him over his knee. So Clumped him over his knee. Sherman clumped that boy. Oh, Sherman, Sherman, Sherman. And here we see the again. Check him out. Bip, bango, blizzing. All them words. 
all them special character words. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. <laughs> Nate the Diaz, baby. The yeah, but that's been Nate, man. Nate's got a good jab. I like that jab animation. I like that straight punch animation. It's really good. It's really snappy. It really feels like Nate Diaz. It's a, it, it may be quick. It's pretty fast, though. Like it's, it's like getting hit with a baseball. It's real quick. Just one, two, one, two, one, two. Yeah, you can kind of run it. But that's not me. I'm not going to do that to people. That's just not the way I play. It's not the way I fight, man. Throwing one, two, one, two in the gym, you know, on, on a heavy bag, that's fun and everything, trying to get it as fast as possible. But I mean, you're rarely in a situation in fighting and sparring where you can get the one, two, one, two off. Uh, it happens, but, you know, you're rarely in that situation. So it's not something that I'm. It doesn't feel natural to me. That's basically what I'm saying. It doesn't feel natural. Even from a video game, it doesn't feel natural. But, uh, yeah. It's been Nate Diaz. It's been fun playing with Nate Diaz. I like ruling with that long, measuring stick of a jab of his. Controlling at the at the end of that jab and then kind of working working from there. Um, but, yeah. Until next time, it's been Brian, the Apex Gamer, and Apex Gaming Channel. You know, all those things. Keep it everything. Keep it fun. You know, all that stuff. All my typical things. Enjoy your week. Enjoy your month. Enjoy your year. Make the most of every day. Um, don't be afraid to try anything new. I'm super afraid to try new things, so I'm a hypocrite. I don't eat new foods. <laughs> I think it's pretty much what it is. I don't eat new foods. Uh, new activities don't really scare me too much, but I ain't with all that strange food. But that's a topic for another day. Until next time, though, it's been Brian, the Apex Gamer Channel. See you guys on the flip side.